Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about stretching. Stretching is something that we're all guilty about not doing enough of, something that we find boring. Normally five minute jog or brisk walk or a treadmill and we get straight into a heavy workout. This is not what to do. There's a lot of problems with this. Uh, being a personal trainer, I've seen a lot of these issues. I've gone through myself a lot of issues and I've just found out recently how, how important, how essential a good warm up is. So I'm going to take you through five exercises that I perform myself that cover the whole body and are great before any workout. There are two types of stretching. There's static stretching, which may be a quad, quad hold, or there's dynamic stretching, which is where you put your body through the stretch. So rather than hold a stretch, you're going through a stretch. Dynamic stretching is much better for warming up. It takes your body past the tight point and it gets a lot warmer, a lot quicker. Static stretching is good post-workout, maybe after a run or after a bike. You want to be holding each stretch for 30 seconds, but today we've got to concentrate on dynamic stretching. The thing is with these stretches that you're going to see, they're not meant to be easy. They are meant to be a bit uncomfortable. It shows that your body is moving past its comfortable point and you are warming the muscle up prior to an exercise. So if any of these following exercises you do, feel easy, you might want to just look at your technique, look back at the video and make sure everything you're doing is the same as myself. A lot of complicated issues I see with a lot of my clients and a lot of people in the gym is the lower back and hips are tied. So we have got a couple of exercises here that will loosen them up. You don't have to do these before a workout, you can do them throughout the day two or three times. You don't need any gym equipment, so you can just do it in your living room. The more times you do stretch, the better, elongates the muscle, puts your body into the correct position and that prevents injuries, makes it um, easier for your body to react as well to the workout, which means more, more muscle growth, less chance of injury. Although you don't want to stay within your comfort zone during your stretch, you do want to make sure you're careful doing it as not to tear anything. So when doing the stretches, again, just watch the video over a couple of times that you're about to see. Make sure that you know what you're doing. If there's any issues at all, drop me a message. More than happy to help you out. Um, and yeah, enjoy the workout. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 